3D Finding Dory Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be doing a 3D Finding Dory nail art design that has a gradient background just like the logo always does with the sort of frosty seafoam green at the top blending into a blue at the bottom for the ocean and then it says Finding Dory and has 3D Dory so I hope you like it and don't forget to um, click subscribe to see my future videos as well. To create my background, I'm going to start by making a gradient with a light aqua color and then blue. So I'm going to have aqua by the cuticle, and then I'm going to be brushing that bead down and then add some blue at the tip and brushing it up. And because my aqua especially is sort of a transparent color, I'm going to want to make sure I do a couple different layers. So I'll go aqua blue, aqua blue, just like this, and making sure to blend them together so it's a nice smooth gradient and you don't see this line between the colors because you want to not have that distinct line where they change and just it to flow from one into the other. So now I'm going to be encasing the nail with a layer of clear acrylic. Acrylic is going to add strength and it's also going to protect that gradient and any glitter that happens to be in your colors. I know that my aqua has some pretty big glitter flakes and stuff in it so we want to make sure to add the clear just so that we don't file those flakes and get rid of their color. So now I'm going to be filing it as I've been mentioning with a 180 grit file and this will thin down the nail and smooth it so it's nice and easy to paint on and I'm going to be buffing it with a 240 grit pad of buffer to remove the scratches of the first file left behind. So now I'm going to be writing out Finding Dory as a logo. And so I'm going to start by painting Dory right about where those two colors change from one to the other. And so I'm going to start and then I'm going to paint Dory and then add the line going beneath it, the little wavy underline, and then I'm going to fix up my letters. And the reason I'm painting Dory or the logo about where the colors change from one to the other is because if there does happen to be some imperfections in your gradient, this is going to help hide them. So one of the things that a teacher told me a while ago is any mistakes you have in your nail, that's the time to fix it with nail art, which is something that I do fully believe. And this is one of those things that you can definitely fix if you have a mistake in your gradient by painting the dory above it or on top of it. So then paint finding above the dory and this is very, very small. You want it to be absolutely tiny. And then add a layer of some gel sealer on top of that and throw that in your lamp to cure it. So now I'm going to be sculpting my dory with some, it's a darker shade of blue acrylic than the blue that I used in the background, but it is still a very similar shade. And so I'm gonna start and just do the basic shape of her. So, <clears throat> losing my voice, I'm so sorry. I'm going to just add that sort of a football shape and then add her tail. And then add her fin. So the one fin is that's behind her. You don't see very much of it and you want it to be very thin. But the other fin that's going to be on top that I'll add in just a moment is going to be thicker and you want it to definitely show up as on the surface. So then I'm going to be doing her upper and lower jaw. And so you want to make sure that you leave it where her mouth goes in and looks like it actually is going in. So that area is going to be thinner. So don't put any extra acrylic there. Leave that the initial thickness that it was. So just thicken up above and below her mouth basically and I'm going to be blending those areas back into the into her body so that there's not those sharp lines because you want to she's a happy character you don't want her to have any of those sharp harsh looking lines so now here's where I'm adding her other fin and so then I'm going to add some white acrylic in each eye just like that so now from here on out I'm going to be switching to acrylic paint instead of using the monomer and polymer. So I'm going to add a red dot and then a black dot inside the red dot on her eyes and then I'm going to be adding my details with black. So on her fins they have just this little black outline on them and then I'm going to add just a couple outlines just to help define where she is because it is kind of hard to see Dory on top of the blue background. And so then I'm going to be adding this design on her back or her side, I suppose. And the reason I did do Dory on top of the blue background is because whenever you do look at one of the logos that you see, if you just look at the posters or anything for Finding Dory, she is blue against a blue background, which is appropriate when you think about it because she's in the ocean and she's blue and that's how it looks. So there is some realism in there. And so in real life, she does show up better than she does in the video because you can see the depth perception in the difference in thicknesses. So you're going to want to do some highlights with white on her. Sorry, I missed saying that when it was happening. And then put some yellow on the tips of her fins and the tip of her tail and apply a matte tap coat over to protect all of that acrylic paint. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this design. Please share any recreations with me on Facebook and Instagram. I would really love to see them and I will see you in my next video. Bye.